So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video and today I am going to discuss again about pharmacy exit exam and its impact on abroad. So if you are keen to go for abroad to study and live there and getting PR and getting a job for example Australia, US, UK, Canada those kind of countries. So after B form if you are going to give you this exam so what will be impact in the abroad. So pharmacy pay exit exam that all the B form or diploma holders they have to go once they complete their degree or diploma. So this is a one exam for whole India. So uh, there will be a like same exam whatever your university whatever college you study so now they are going to be standardized the standard of a pharmacist so wherever you study is like a top college is a lower college everyone has to pass this uh, this pharmacy education so we can say it's like a uniform pharmacy education in India it will be it, it, this exam will give you or when is going to be implemented but I think a, a, a from next year onwards is going to be in, uh, uh, implement so this year there is no impact so if you pass this exam then easily you can pass some exams in abroad because you are you have to prepare for this exam then it will be uh, it is a similar kind of that if you are going to uh, write a GPAT exam then it is easy for you to write the CAPS exam in Australia then PBC in the Canada or in UK if you want to go study there then you want to uh, become a pharmacist in UK so you know if you are preparing for this exam because you have to study from year 1 to year 4 all the subject again and you have to pass this exam for this exam it's like MCQ based so you have to study very thoroughly all, all the subject so if you study all these you can easily pass the foreign exam so it, it, it's very easy for you to become pharmacist in abroad to settle there so this is one of the advantage now what is the disadvantage if you did not pass this exam so then you cannot practice in your country even you cannot practice in abroad for example if you are fail in this exam and you are thinking that now I want to go in uh, in Australia so in Australia there is a requirement not only all Australia all the all the worldwide this is the first exam uh, the requirement that you must registered pharmacist in your country so if you are not registered in your country you cannot practice in other country you cannot write or sit in exam for example if you want to work in Australia you have to write a CAPS exam and that caps exam one of the requirement you must register pharmacist in your country. So here I want to give you one example for example someone did a MBBS from China or Russia you know in Indians they go and study here and they have to uh, complete their studies they have to come to back to India and then they have to pass a MCI exam and many of them are failed they are not getting passed because MCI is a uh, uh, standard is, uh, is totally different from Russia and China. So what uh, I mean they cannot practice legally but illegally they are doing here in their job and they are looking to uh, come to Australia some other countries so they are doing some uh, jobs in clinical trials pharmacovigilance but they cannot practice they, they don't have license to practice in India the same for you as a pharmacist if you cannot pass you do not have license to practice in India even in abroad also so for example if someone is a this MBBS guy um, cannot pass in MCI exam in India he is not a registered medical practitioner in India so he cannot practice in Australia or US Canada or UK UK so all the country the required you must register in your own country uh, as a pharmacist then you can practice in their country you then you have to uh, go for the, the process for example you have to go for equivalency for the your degree then you have to write an exam then you have to go for internship but before this is a mandatory requirement to you must register in your country so if you fail then you cannot work in abroad so in short in Hindi if you have failed exam you fail ho gaye, to fir aap kahin ke nahi rahe. Fir aap ke degree is, is like a uh, BSc you know aap ko koi bhi job kar sakte hain but aap jo practice hai wo nahi kar sakte सकते हैं फार्मेसी की और आप एब्रोड में भी जाकर प्रैक्टिस नहीं कर सकते हैं क्योंकि उसका जो फर्स्ट जो मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट होती है कि वो आप अपनी कंट्री में मस्ट रजिस्टर होंगे तभी आप उसका प्रोसेस कर सकते हैं जैसे कि इंडिया में अगर आप फार्मासिस्ट नहीं बने हैं तो आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया में प्रैक्टिस नहीं कर सकते अगर आप ऑल्दो आपने डिग्री की हुई है उसके बाद भी अगर आप यहां स्टडी करने भी आया तो जैसा कि आप अगर यहां पर आपने क्या मैं यहां में मास्टर डिग्री करने चले जाता हूं ऑस्ट्रेलिया में और उसके बाद मैं रजिस्टर करता हूं ना तो उसका भी एक रिक्वायरमेंट ये होता है कि अगर आपने एम फॉर्म किया तब तो ठीक है 
वो मान्य हो जाएगा अगर आपने अगर अगर आपने यहाँ पर फिर से आपने कहा कि मैं कैप्स एग्जाम लिखना चाहता हूँ और कैप्स के बाद में फार्मासिस्ट बनना चाहता हूँ ऑस्ट्रेलिया में तो आप नहीं बन सकते हैं उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट है कि आपको फर्स्ट रजिस्टर करिए आप अपनी कंट्री में और उसके बाद अपना प्रोसेस आप कीजिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया में बनना इसका यह है कि आप जो ग्रेजुएट एंट्री कोर्सेज होते हैं जैसे ग्रेजुएट एंट्री कोर्स है ऑस्ट्रेलिया में अगर फार्मासिस्ट बनना है तो वो है बैचलर ऑफ फार्मेसी फोर ईयर का और एम फॉर्म टू ईयर का तो इन दोनों में से कोई भी एक कोर्स करेंगे आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया में तो उसके बाद फिर आप जो है फार्मासिस्ट बन सकते हैं मगर जो कैप्स वाला रूट है वो क्लोज हो जाएगा आपके लिए तो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो आई आई मेक मोर वीडियोज फॉर फार्मासिस्ट एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो